Welcome today's, to today's lesson. You will need your notebook for notes and a pencil or pen. Today we're going to talk about surface area of cylinders and pyramids. These are actually pretty basic. You just take the numbers and plug them into a formula. To find the surface area of a cylinder, you use the formula 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. Now keep in mind that we're going to be using 3 for pi. Now the radius stands for halfway across the circle and the height is how tall the figure is. So if we wanted to just find the lateral surface area that would be without the bases. Remember the area of a circle is pi r squared and you have two circles so that's where the 2 pi r squared comes from. If you want to just find the lateral surface area you would just do 2 pi r h. So let's take a look at a problem. Why don't you pause and draw this figure in your notes? All right, the surface area is 2 pi r squared and 2 pi r h. I said that backward to what I wrote. So in this particular problem, what's my r? 4. And what's my h? 12. Let's plug everything into the formula. 2 times pi times 4 times 12 plus 2 times pi times 4 squared. Now you'll notice I didn't multiply the 3 in there for pi and there's a reason for that. Let's just multiply everything inside the parentheses first. 4 times 12 is 48 so now I have 2 pi times 48 plus 2 pi times 16 and let's finish that out 48 times 2 plus 16 times 2 would give me 96 pi plus 32 pi. Now you add these together just like you were adding them like x's. 96 pi plus 32 pi would be 128 pi. Sometimes your answers are going to ask you to leave your answer in pi form. That means that would be your final answer. Now if it said it wanted you to use 3 for pi or it said estimating, now is the time when you would do 128 times 3 and that would give you 384 centimeters squared. Since it's an area, it's still squared. So you have terms of pi that you can leave it in or the final answer that you can leave it in. You're going to have to leave it in both sometimes. So you should do the problems this way. Do each one separately, then combine like terms. All right, let's try another one. I would like for you to pause and work this one out. Okay, in this problem, I have a different number. The 10 represents what? The diameter. I need the radius. So what's the radius? 5. So now I can plug the numbers into my formula. 2 times pi times 5 times 14 plus 2 times pi times 5 squared. Now 5 times 14 is 70, 5 squared is 25, 2 times 70 is 140 pi plus 50 pi, which would give me 190 pi. Now what I did here, 2 times 70 is 130, pi stays on the end, 2 times 25 is 50, pi stays on the end. Now I add the like terms, 140 pi and 50 pi is 190 pi. So if it said to leave it in terms of pi, it would be this. And if it asked you for an estimate or a final answer, you would multiply 190 times 3, and you would have gotten that. How'd you do? Excellent.